Thank you so much for watching Tomofuji the Music. Today I will show you this song. Just listen. Can you tell? So only four chords, I play very simple. Then like this. So Japanese pop music, carry pyam pyam. I can't really say the name really correct, but pom pom pom. So what happened was, I don't know, four or five years ago, I was in Japan and um, um, I, I was in Kyoto and I was spending time with my parents and nighttime after the dinner probably and I was watching TV and this girl, carry pyam pyam, uh, on, the, on the show and uh, she's showing her room, something like that. And then I thought this is, she must be really famous person. Kari Pyam Pyam, interesting name. And then, um, way back to Boston, uh, usually when I come back to Boston, in the airplane, I listen to, so I always do some sort of project. I should just re relax, but I always do something. So that time, I was listening all famous Japanese pop music from 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, 90, 2000, and just, you know, flip through the song. And then I found Carrie Pyam Pyam uh, song, you know, a lot of songs, and I listened to it. This was one of it. So once I decide, I always, you know, take a note and write it down. And then I start listening this song over, over, probably like, you know, 50, 60 times I listen. And the first thing I thought, Okay, I'm gonna learn this melody. The reason is the melody is very specific melody, and I can tell songwriter, arranger really decide for her what to sing. So there is no room for improvisation. It's exactly the rhythm, and I thought this is good for guitar player phrasing, especially you know my students who has a little bit struggle with the phrasing. Phrasing means you have to have a sort of a lyrical you know message through your instrument rhythm pitch mood everything right so but most people tend to do play riffs or scales or playing uh, things and then i have to show you uh several things but first part so like okay sorry i talked a little too much three levels let's do the first chord progression voicing and melody and a little bit more extra. So the first one, I made this backing track. So A major. Sometimes, the pop song like that, I just listen, and then I understand every detail, but I arrange my own way, so I just arrange something simple enough, because this song has two, three different sections, if you listen to. I'm gonna uh, link here, around here, I think. But, check this out. 
you know, if you listen to hip hop or uh, anybody's arrangement, you know, and neo soul, sometimes they just play four bar phrase forever. It sounds pretty good. Simple is good, you know. So, how about like this A major seven, right? A major seven, then G sharp minor seven, and A over B. This is a tricky one. Kind of a nice one. A trial over B, right? And then C sharp minor. So if I play so But then, you know, a little bit of speed. Then when I make a backing track, I always make a dry. Because if you do recording, once you paint, you can't change that unless you, you record um, mix a different way so if you print but this case i'm just record with r3 so it's a printing so first if i print with a reverb on i can erase the sound and once you have something you can change it less you have you can add like a cooking simple you get you can add next day something else and taste good but if you put too much if it's too much, then it's too much. You can't do anything about it. So, less is better. So, in this case, I play simple. That's it. So, like that. So, dry. Nothing else. Okay? So, that's what I did. And next one, I play dimension C. RC. Wait a minute, not RC. DC2, I'm sorry. So, and then this is number four, you know. And then usually I play, okay, so now dry sound, I use a middle pickup because really punchy, nice. And then I use middle and front, like that. Then this one, I may use dry or a little bit reverb. It's like, I use delay and I use middle rear then I change the setting to 3 sometimes I use the compressors lately this compressor is one control pale <laughs> not pale green pale blue compressor like a tongue twist pale blue compressor you know. So this one, you see, I just push it a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do, you know, compressor uh, um, demo, but just like this. This is nothing. I mean, like, you know, compressor, a little bit. Just like I'm using really slightly boost. So anyway, so you Sorry, that was bad. That was bad. See, I thought acting this sounds better. that <laughs> actually I record like that because more 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 
movement, it seems like you're doing a good job, you know. So it, anything mentally, you know, stimulate, that's good. So, you know, you move around, you know, if you get tired, you move around. Yeah, I do that all the time. So, you get the idea. That's how I, and then, let's see. And then I, so like, this is a four parts. One is, you know, um, rhythm guitar. And second one, it's really same chords. But I just recorded twice. One is front middle and one is middle rear with the delay. So that way my RC3 sounds like it has nice big recording sounds because just tiny pedal in my recording studio in RC3, you know. So, yeah. So then now one more, I use the delay and then in the middle front, I don't remember. Okay, so I play like this. Okay, so that's a creation, like, you know, so listen to the original one. There's a link somewhere. Listen to the original one, then, then listen to mine, how I change. Almost like, you know, just like you go to a restaurant, you eat something really good. Oh, this is, tastes good. What's in it? Ah, maybe I can cook and try. You can make the same one, but you can make something similar or something maybe better, you know, so you never know. So how's, how's that? That's how, how I cook my music, okay? Just listen, figure it out, and cook. So that's my cooking. Now, the melody part, the third one, it's very simple. And then I can hear very cute sounding. So I make that sound more staccato. really important then ta -da -da -pa -pa -pa. little fuss on. that's the first one then I was like wow that's really simple really make make sure good exam this, this part really hard to do because very simple you basically you play two notes to make a melody very difficult to do and most people like this usually this is the problem usually not enough volume that's that's my volume most people probably like this then most people play like this What happens, most people are kind of screaming. It's not cuteness there. <laughs> you see, volume has to have enough to work with. You can work with volume, but if you don't have volume, you cannot work with because there's not enough. So I have enough volume that slightly difficult to play. So I have to pick softer. Then I can sustain, I can shorten, I can do a lot of things, but most people concern so much about where to put the finger, what notes to play, ended up just playing notes without taste. That's the important part, you know? So you have to add a little bit more taste to it, okay? Now, pa -pa -pa -ah. short and long.
So like when you practice, first dry sound. So you see, now I worked with dry tone so that every notes I play, I can hear. See, that's, for example, recording. When you record your music, you have to do everything dry so that every nuance you can play, then you add a reverb or something to cook when you're mixing. Of course, sometimes you want to hear a little bit dry uh, in a reverb if you want to hear. Of course, that's fine. We're not mixing it. So right now, this is a perfect way for me to present practice. Now, before I add a reverb kind of final mix, I, just, I can give you a little bit of bad example. Bad example, you see, volume not enough. Every note is a little bit sustained okay and pick harder okay so this one i have to switch um <laughs> pretend i don't care the detail okay What happened is uh, nose is all right, but the feel is wrong. Also, attitude is not right because you have to really think somebody listening, so you have to be more conversational, you know. So, bad example. So, again, if you don't have enough volume, you ended up screaming. Now, adding a little bit more sound, so now this dry sound, and I use one control, uh, Prussian Blue Reverb, and this is the longest setting I like, and then I use uh, Mr. Springy uh, Reverb from uh, Lee Jackson, he made this one, he's the one, yeah, 
again, many, many years ago, I brought two Pro Reverb to present a nice tone at the Eminence booth in you know, Nam Show. But what happened was Eminence drove these, <laughs> you know, uh, equipment with a car. You know, in other words, ground, now air, you know, from Kentucky to, you know, go California. So my, you know, amp bounce, 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 many hours. Then my, you know, reverb was broken, you know. Then I have to borrow. So this is a... So this is a reverb, kind of a reverb pedal song. Lee, Lee Jackson made really great one. One note. Just one note. Just a reverb, right? So then this is a long reverb, like that. And I I mix this one. It just kind of rich sounding, like that. So this is a sound for performance, you know. And um, then here, this is pale pale blue <laughs> pale blue uh, compressor. It's like a little bit more punchy so, I don't know which one you like three four
Kanji guitar. Kanji guitar. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Tomochi's music. So I will come back. New lesson, new ideas. I hope you enjoy. And if you like to learn more, you can join my guitar wisdom. And we work all the way, all the way. And we're gonna have fun. And this thing, guitar, guitar will take over. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.